Oh, right guys, I'm sorry, I know it's not summer and you're probably thinking I've just come off the beach with my sunglasses on. Well, the reason I'm like this is because it is a sunny day outside today and it's a very sunny day in the Encarns workshop. We've got chrome car here today, but I'll talk about that in a little while. Chrome cars can look a little bit tacky sometimes, but some cars they can look really nice. Now you've got to get it right, but you can get it really wrong as well. But I think on this car that's coming today, it's been done right. Anyway, I'm talking about the loudest Range Rover Sport Cabado we've ever done. This is the loudest Range Rover on the planet! Yes, the owner is Musa from London. He's here today to put some extra accessories on his Range Rover Sport Barrett Zyde. But is it blinged up? And it sounds even louder. Well, I better take these sunglasses off because it's not sunny in my office, but it's definitely sunny outside and it's definitely sunny in the workshop. And maybe towards the end of the vlog, I might even do a competition to give away these Barrett Zyde sunglasses. Let's waste no time. Let's go meet Musa, have a quick chat with him and show you his car. How are you doing? How to drive? Okay, what time did you wake up to come to Bradford? So uh, I woke up at six o'clock, jumped into the car. I thought, you know what? This is good. What about right. the getting the shower, sorting your hair out? Do you know what I mean? Putting all the oil oh, on your body and stuff time. like that. Like you're shining. But that don't but anyway, you made an effort to come and see me. I appreciate that. You, have, Thank you, you have to make an effort. Thank you. You're here today. We're gonna do a little. Uh, we're gonna do add a few little trims on your car, mm -hmm. and uh, you've uh, had some upgrades after this as well. So yeah. what have you done? So what I've done, um, I got it wrapped okay. uh, back in May. Now we're talking about this wrap. Listen, this, this car this wrap went viral. Now. It this went viral. We'll talk about that later on. Uh, but what about the exhaust? You've, uh, you've upgraded uh, the exhaust I've, I've as well. upgraded the exhaust, yeah. Louder than what we've done? It's a lot louder. Than, oh, a lot, lot so louder. what kind of tires can we put on this then? Because last time you said it's the loudest Range Rover SVR on time, the planet. No, I don't think it was the loudest at that time. But now I think it is. Come on, I'm sure it was the loudest. Don't you guys agree? <laughs> That was loud. And but even now, yeah, we even had a guy in uh, in London who competed with us. Oh, we got competition, guys. So this is even louder. This is louder. Man, yeah, I much can't louder. wait to hear this. Do I need my ears? Much louder. Need... Got pops and burns as well. Pops and burns. Yeah, man. But anyway, so this chrome. Obviously, we've wrapped the car chrome. Should we go in the workshop and show everybody? Yeah, why not? Come let's on, go. let's take it to the let's workshop. Go. Right, okay, so here it is guys, we're in the Encarns workshop. Right, what do you think guys, what do you think? A bit of change from before? Mm, looks much better than before. Better? We've painted the floor, we've painted the ceilings, put some new lighting in there. Really? Anyway, oh, oh my god. Listen, I definitely need my sunglasses for this one because this is blinding. Oh, this Careful. Is You call it what you Godzilla? Like, that's a What's horrible the new name for it? That's a horrible name. What should we call it then? Green I think, I Monster think, Hulk? I think Barrett because I sounds much better. Of course, Barrett's eye, but it needs to be a version. Should you we call can, it Hulk? You can give Hulk it Mania? You like, it's up to you. Hulk Zai. You can well, it you know what? It's a beautiful, good choice. Ooh, seriously, mate, that is bright. But anyway, just to <laughs> confirm, we've not wrapped this car. This car has been wrapped by. Pristis Tints in Hanslow. Yeah, doing a great job of wrapping the car. Uh, you did want me to wrap it, but I was too busy. And you were sat on a horse and said, Nav, I want it done quick. You want it done before Pakistan Independence Day. Right, so you can drive around, obviously, That's on it. Pakistan Independence Day, which is August the 14th. And uh, obviously you can uh, represent Pakistan and its Absolutely. independence. And uh, you did a good job, didn't you? Because this car but went that, viral. That day, that day, Wheels of Road was locked down, locked down, I'm telling you. Right, was it locked down? Yeah, Talking about rap, I think we should see your team in the house. So yeah. you, what happened when we went to Manchester, tell me. I what wanted to see people's reaction on the colour and stuff though. But it was, it was mad that, that day, people just loved the colour. The sound was amazing. The sound was the... Well what a day to take this car, obviously in green as well, on Wimslow Road in Manchester on Pakistan Independence yeah. Day. Car went viral because I, I would get tagged left, right and centre on this car, on its left. And it was on TikTok, Instagram, guess, Facebook. Guess who I saw there? 
Who do you see? Your sister. You watch because she sent me a video by the way. She did. She was like, oh she my goes, God. She goes, oh my God. My, my brother done this car. I was like, who are you? She's like, I'm ne <laughs> never sister. I'm like, oh, right, okay. I bet you met a lot of my brothers and sisters, haven't you? The fake ones. Oh, there were loads of fake ones. <laughs> there were loads of fake ones. Actually, like, she was the real one. The, yeah, yeah. Because uh, she told me, like, Nav and Imran. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I get loads of people, like, on TikTok and stuff saying, oh, my cousin's car. This is my dad's car, my brother's car. I'm like, you know what? It's yeah, all yours. Yeah, yeah. It's all, all yours. <laughs> nah, listen, car, we're all family. All we're all one big family, aren't we? But anyway, listen, it looks stunning. I don't know, obviously, you, I'd like to know your, uh, your views as well, guys. What do you think? Obviously, we've uh, we put the Cabaro body kit on this uh, about a year ago. We put the 24-inch XL alloy wheels with a polished face. And now they've been painted black. And uh, obviously, the exhaust. We're not going to start the car up in here because all the lads might run off for an early lunch, and I don't want that. So we'll do that outside. We'll take it for a video shoot as well, of course. Every car we do in here, we take it for a video shoot. Anyway, let's have a look at the wrap. So you've wrapped it in uh, Texas okay. wrap. And... Uh, Chrome turquoise. Yeah, blue. nice job. Yeah. I like the black contrast. We left that in there. So the reason it's coming here today, the reason it's coming here today is because we're adding the extra spats on the rear bumper. So we're putting them on there. Yeah, I lost them somewhere along the line. Well, they didn't fall off, did they? They no, forgot they to be put off. on. So, I think someone forgot to put them on. Yeah, anyway, so we're just adding the uh, lower back bumper spats on there. And uh, yeah, so you've got the rear glow lights as well, we put them in last time. But wow. Have you got a dent in there? What have you done over here? That, I'm not sure what that is. That happened in Manchester. With all them fans and all them I, uh, I don't know. people Ask that were that. That, that chasing dead, your you car. Feel it, then, oh my God, oh my God. It, like, if you feel it, there's no doubt. I bet they thought you were some celebrity, weren't you? Yeah, no, they always Some Pakistani that. like uh, film star. I don't I want think, to be a film I think star. You look like a, I'm just a normal, humble person, that's it. I don't want to be a film star, but coming course, back to this. Tell by his car. But, but listen, coming back to this. I yeah, don't know you what get it is. paintless dent removal on there. Yeah, but that's not a dent. If you feel it, it's not a dent. Feel it. It's definitely a dent. It's definitely it's a dent. dent. It's a dent. But how can somebody put a dent that, bro? I have all. I can understand there. I'll tell you. Because when they're doing this. Oh. <laughs> That's how you can do it. I know. Sorry, I excuse I the expression. I'm just thinking how it could have been done. Oh, somebody looked right up. Oh, God. What a car. What a car. So you're not jealous. Oh. Yeah, because that's, could it be that's that? pretty. That's pretty. Oh, you oh. could have. You could have. You could have opened the door and hit something. Nah, bro. That that happened on that night. I saw it on that day because I parked well, it. Well, people are probably coming to your car and pressing on it and I don't know, whatever. But right. pressing, man. I don't think well, listen. Pressing, anyway, the car still looks good. Just get painter's dent removal on there. Coming round the car. We've got the carbon bits on there as well that we did previously. So everything's just the same. The only thing that's changed on it is the wrap and the exhaust. We've upgraded the exhaust. So I remember the first time uh, I wrapped a chrome car and uh, that was for a good friend of mine, Ashwin. Hey, you know. Whoa! How are you doing? Where did you come out from? What's this? Mate, you know, you <laughs> know exactly what this is. By the way, wow. Ashwin's nickname, and listen, Ashwin is a very popular guy in Bradford. Everybody knows him. <laughs> right? He's like, I mean, uh, God bless his soul, he was like, he's like the Jesus man of Bradford. I don't think you're popular, <laughs> I don't think you're popular as him, but God bless his no, soul, he was I'm a never, great guy. Never gonna be as but you are as, as popular as him. Yeah, because your nickname Go on. is Chrome. Yeah, you're the one that did it. <laughs> Thanks to me. Why? Because most of his cars we've wrapped in Chrome. Now, you must remember his BMW 680s that we wrapped in silver Chrome. Here's a video of it. But yeah, that was a very iconic car in Bradford. So if you are from Bradford or probably anywhere in England, because Ashwin used to love driving, because he is uh, our logistics driver as well. He travels all the way around to deliver our body kits, because he loves, he's got passion for driving. I love driving. You love driving. I love driving. But you, where did you take that BMW when we wrapped it? I mean, where, or should I say, where didn't where, you go? Where didn't we take it? Yeah, where it's didn't you go? It's been everywhere. It's been, it's been everywhere. in a few music videos as well. Yeah. But then, we decided to change the wrap. Yep. Yeah. Changed it. We wrapped it in chrome red. red. Now, when we wrapped it in chrome red, it was nice, but we preferred the chrome silver, didn't we? So we did it back to silver. So we did it again. back to silver, but we did leave it chrome red for a little while as well. But anyway, what is it with chrome cars? Because your nickname becomes it's become chromey. Then we're not seeing you know, saying, "Oh, it's chromey." Yep. Well. But anyway, what is it with chrome cars? 
you just need to look at it and you don't need to explain anything. Just looking at it tells you it all. It's a showstopper. Of course it is. It's bright, vibrant, stops all the traffic, turns a lot of heads. Yep, turns but a lot does, of heads. Would you say that chrome or the way the car is, it reflects your personality, how, how you are as a person, do you, when people customise their cars? Do you want to be, do you want to stand out? You don't stand out because you've got tinted windows. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good point. Can I tell you something? I parked my car a couple of weeks ago in Sloan Street, yeah? And I was walking towards the car, and I see someone's like doing this, and this girl was trying to look at her makeup. And I was just like, that's a good idea. How about that? Like, you, can, you can literally see your <laughs> yeah. face. Yeah, like, yeah. you stand here, you can yeah. literally see your face. Yeah. Just checking her makeup and everything, and I'm just like. There's a lot of social media influencers out there, especially in London, they're all over, aren't they? Because oh, everyone's becoming like a TikTok star, Instagram model. So obviously when they're out, they like to take uh, photographs around uh, iconic places in London and uh, especially iconic cars. So if you're out in London and you do spot this car, just make sure you tag us in it as well. And if you're going to do your makeup, you've got a mirror right there. We're talking about the foundation of the car. Oh, since then I had my calipers done. Yeah, but while you've been downstairs waiting, we've took your alloy wheels up that you curbed. Oh, you know what? Yeah, thanks man. I see that. Yeah, you see I that see now, that. don't you? Yeah, love, yeah, love, yeah, love. yeah. See? Right, anyway, so what made you wrap it in chrome? Well, I mean, apart from you wanted it done well, for Pakistan Independence Day? Basically, I was going to sell the car because I was getting bored with it. I was going to get something else. How did you get bored of a Range Rover SVR? I've had it for about a year and a half now. What did you get after now. this? Um, I don't know, probably one of those. Defender? Defender. We'll come back to the Defender. Come back to the Defender. You well, need anyway. a 5 litre though, don't you, V8? The uh, James Bond I, one. I hate diesels, I hate diesels. I don't like diesels at all. 5 litre V8 yeah, petrol, Yeah, that's mate. what I'm saying, yeah, of course. I think you should get one of them and go for the role so, of the next Pakistani James Bond. Car. So, I was bored with the car. I rang you, I said, wrap my car for me. Yep. You were far too busy doing your things. I said, I'll me. do it, but I said, wait. Bro, when you're waiting... You know, waiting, I give you priority all, all the bro, time. When you can even listen, wait a few listen, weeks. He, listen, his wait, his wait is like, wait. About four to six weeks and then leave it here for about a month. I was like, no, I ain't got that kind of time. Is, we had a three month waiting he, list. He doesn't yeah. do quantity, he does quality. Thank That's you, That's his problem. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, mate. <laughs> That's you his go. problem. But you know that yourself. So I rang up with the so I said, you know, I need, I need my car wrap. Um, but it was a long wait for the colour because colour took a few months. Yeah, so this is a Hexis wrap, by the way. Hexis. So shout out to Hexis as well. Beautiful wrap. I mean, it's a. Uh, Lovely colour. Wow, I love it. So he's done it. It took him like about 10 days. Yeah. 10 days to he do it. He's done a great job, but why green? Doing? Okay, I'm joking about Pakistan independence there now. Okay, that was a joke. Because now, why do you really wrap it green? Because Hexes, <laughs> yeah, no, because Hexes don't do many colours. They only do like four colours. I think they do red, silver, gold. So what made you decide on green? Um, I like green colour and I just wanted I to see stand that. You've got a little bit of that turquoise in your yeah. shirt as well today. Matching is it, that like deliberate match. or is that just, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Is that just by chance? That's that, that, that just by chance. You can tell he likes that look. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> but I like it because, like, you know, you have to be different. Yeah, Everybody man. goes like satin black, gloss black, um, white. And I just thought, so, you know what, why not be, do something different? Yeah, there's a lot of chrome colours available in the market, but you can uh, wrap a car, you, you can wrap a car in chrome and it can mess up. Yeah, you've got to get it right. You've got to get it right. I think we've got it right on this one. Derek, what is it? What you you like the car? Are you so in love with it? You've been everyone's been distracted in the workshop because of this car. So Alex is just uh, fitting on the wheel arches because when the car got wrapped, uh, there were some uh, loose trims left. We're just putting the wheel arch uh, trims back on properly, and we've got Janet at the back who's uh, polishing the exhaust up. So obviously, a, a car like this that fires fires uh, flames out of the back. As you can see, all, they, they look like they've been burnt. But of course, the fire flames at the back. So, uh, Janae is just polishing them all up. We've fitted the spats on now, as you can see. They've been fitted as well. And we've got Alex working on the front end of the car, just adding some little trims on there. Right, so anyway, let's go uh, check up on G. I've not spoke to him for a little while. He's been busy uh, outside working on the building with the painters. G! G. I like that. His name is G and then he answers with G. Now G in Urdu means yes in a very respectful way. So it's quite confusing when I say G, which is his name, short for Rofran, of course. And uh, then he replies back G, G which means? Yes. Which means yes in a very polite way in Urdu. But anyway, G, how's it going? Oh yeah, uh, painting and uh, sanding was smoothing. 
the walls outside. So, feathering. feathering. So, G's been uh, working outside in the building. As you know, we are renovating our place. Uh, we did start, as you've seen, on our previous vlog a few weeks ago. And uh, we've painted all the floors inside over here, painted the walls, changed all the lighting, serviced all the booths. And uh, we're working on the outside of the building now as well. But uh, G's been helping the painters outside, the painter decorators. We're just painting the whole um, building outside, just all the cladding. We're just wearing off a little bit. Uh, it was previously painted in black. And obviously with all the sun and the weather, it did start to dull off a little bit. And uh, so we just thought we'd give it a full repaint. And uh, yeah, just get it, bring it all up to date. <clears throat> We've got some other work outside that I need to, we need to attend to. So please, come on. So these are the wheel arches uh, for a Defender. We've got a Defender booked in, the uh, 110 models. We've launched our Defender body kit as you've seen in our previous vlog. And if you're not, here's a reminder. So that's our new Defender Baragzite Falcon body kit, which is available now uh, to supply and fit and also supply. We can ship this anywhere in the world. It's been a good response on that. Uh, thank you for all the positive comments and the feedback. I really appreciate uh, all the uh, positivity, guys, and, and the motivation. But we're going to continue this journey of Baragzite. We're going to continue building uh, new body kits. And if there's any other car that you think that we should build a body kit for, please comment below and let me know. Maybe I could pick uh, one of the cars and design a bespoke body kit for it, or even an alloy wheel. So what car do you think Baragzai should uh, customize next or make a body kit for, or even a wheel? So let us know, as you know, the Cabaro was very, very popular. We've got this in uh, two versions, one for the pre-facelift, which is the 2013 to 2017 model. Then the Range Rover has a facelift. And we've got this body kit available for that model too. So 2018 to 2021, the current model. So yeah, so we've got the wide and non-wide arch version. And uh, we've also got the Range Rover Villa Huntress body kit. And also a very popular Range Rover Vogue Bison body kit, which is very similar to this. The concept has come off the Cabaro body kit and uh, we did launch that for the Vogue, uh, the Range Rover models as well. So here's a video of that. So thinking of designing a body kit for another car, what car should it be? So uh, if you've got any recommendations, comment below and let me know. Maybe the Audi Q8, maybe the Audi Q7, uh, maybe a Rolls-Royce, but you know what? Rolls-Royce doesn't really need uh, modifying or a body kit on. I think some cars are better left alone. Uh, Rolls-Royce are a beautiful car, obviously they're designed for luxury. But maybe if you add a lower lip spoiler on there, maybe a little trim uh, on the boot, like a spoiler, maybe a back diffuser, I'm not sure. But something very, very subtle uh, for the Rolls-Royce, but I would like to do something for the Rolls-Royce race as we are launching our 22-inch Casanova alloy wheels for the Wraith, Dawn and Ghost models as well, which will be launching very, very soon. So stay tuned for that one. We've got some great content coming your way. We've got some great body kits and new designs uh, for Baragzai. So stay tuned for that and uh, continue following our journey. And thank you for all the support. And make sure you subscribe, guys. And also activate the notification bell. Oh God, it's getting loud in here. But listen, I don't complain with the noise because this is music to my ears. It's like... Wow, that is music. Anyway, it's getting loud in here. Let's get this car finished and take it for a video shoot and show you the full element of this car in the sun. Yes. 
perfect day, perfect weather for this car. So take it easy, mate. Speed limit in Bradford is 10 miles per hour. Okay. school there Thornton Grammar big shout out to everybody that goes to Thornton that was my school uh, a lot of memories I'm there look sure at it wasn't this building it, this, this is a new building actually you're right it, this is a part of a new building it's the old school at the back do you understand so that's the school that I went to great school great memories oh awesome listen that was a crazy reaction Okay, now I even got a little static reaction over there, we're getting out of the car. But anyway, that was a crazy reaction from all the people at Bradford. Uh, we had the school children leaving school as well and oh, they were loving the car. And uh, wow, what can I say? Amazing, amazing body kit, amazing wrap. And it definitely, definitely turns heads. What a better place to bring it than the scenic views of Bradford. Green car, green views. Right, now it's the time to listen to the sound. Now, some say that I talk a lot and when I talk I'm very loud is that true that's what you said but there's one thing that's louder than me in Bradford and it's this car and I'm gonna prove it to you guys right now in that right Musa look here you're looking slick in that car first of all we're gonna hear we're gonna listen to the sound do I need to put earmuffs on, you don't need to put earmuffs on listen I, I think I do need to but I'm just gonna I might cover my ears I might not but anyway let's go around the back of the car obviously with a quad barangzai exhaust here we are they're ready, they're red, they're roaring. It's like a lion purring, looking at his prey. Oh, whoa, whoa, easy now, easy now. Lion, I'm moving back, okay? I'm not gonna mess about with this lion. Right, come on then, let's hear it. So anyway, I'm just, I need a few seconds to get my bearings. I don't think you'll appreciate the sound of this exhaust on camera, seriously. My head's getting a little bit funny as well. That was loud, that was extremely loud. And if it was dark, they'd be spitting out flames as well and you'd see them. But anyway, shall I race this car? It's definitely louder than me, but is it faster than me? No, I'm not gonna attempt to race it. I'm just gonna let him go up and down this road and let's listen to the sound. Musa, are you ready, sir? Crackle and pop. Wow. Do you hear the sound of that? Amazing. Unfortunately, a car came in the way. This is a national speed limit, by the way, guys, as well. So don't worry, we're not speeding. We just want to hear the sound of the exhaust. He's going to bring it all the way back down again. And I hope you guys are enjoying the views. You can see beautiful Bradford. This is literally about two miles away from my garage. So when you do come to customize your car and you want to go for a walk and in the beautiful scenic views, you can do that when you come visit me. Anyway, he's on his way back down again. Look at it. Kabaro, it roars, that definitely roars. Anyway guys, if you do want to wrap your car in chrome, you can visit us, we also wrap cars. There's many other car wrappers out there, so go see all the different chrome wraps that they do have. Or if you don't want to wrap it chrome and you want any other colour, you can wrap your car any other colour of your own choice. Right, Musa's here, thank you very much to come and see me. But anyway, we're gonna, before, we, like, before we leave, we're gonna do a competition. And the competition is to win these sunglasses. Now obviously they have got that reflective chrome look as well, just like the car has, as you can see. A little bit more blue, but these are Baragzai sunglasses, which are also available on the Baragzai store. Now, the question, where, where's the cameraman gone? Right, okay, there you are. Right, anyway, the question is, what's the size and the name of these alloy wheels on Musa's Range Rover Sport Baragzai Cabaro? And I'll pick one correct answer on next week's vlog and they'll win these Baragzai shades. So good luck, guys. Here you have it, Hulk Mania, Godzilla, Green Range Rover. What else do you want to call it? Says the green. I think if you just call it Range Rover Sport. The Grinch. The Grinch. 
the green. <laughs> is that a name? What do you call it? Greenwich. Greenwich. Yeah. This car's in London. If you do spot the car, make sure you tag us in the post and then we'll obviously repost the tag as well. But thank you for watching, guys. And uh, stay tuned for some bigger conversions and we've got some uh, great Barak builds coming your way. And if there's any other form of content that you guys want to see from us, please comment below and let us know. We'll try to keep you guys entertained and obviously keep you guys motivated. It's unusual. Give me that. It's somewhat different, isn't it? Oh, it's bright. It's bright, isn't it? You need to wrap your Bradford Council van in that as well. Yeah. You need your shades for that one, don't you? What, 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 what this, it's what's the colour? That's a good question. That it's a hexes green vinyl wrap. Yeah. It stands out, doesn't it? Should we wrap your van in chrome? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right, let's see what these guys say. Right, come on, guys. Let's have you. Look at that. Reaction from the council guys as well. Nothing but love for this car. But anyway, for now, I'm probably gonna go for a little stroll that way and enjoy the green ray. And my friend Musa here is gonna head back down the M1 to London in his green Range Rover Sport Cabado. But anyway guys, thank you for watching and uh, stay safe, stay tuned and make sure you come visit Bradford as well. See you next time. Yeah.